Hello everyone. Hi guys. It is a beautiful day here in Los Angeles today, but we are actually escaping that beautiful weather for an even more beautiful place. We are headed to Palm Springs today. It's one of our absolute favorite escapes from Los Angeles. We got everything packed up last night. The car is ready to go. This will probably be one of the last times that we ever go visit Palm Springs because honestly, I don't know when I'm ever gonna fly back out here after we move to go there. Wow, that's kind of surreal, isn't it? I know, but you know, never say never either. We might be back. Maybe. We have a lot on the itinerary to take you guys to. We're going to take you to all our favorite places, all our favorite restaurants, shops, like, it's gonna be a really fun few days. So let's not waste any time here. We all know this apartment. Let's get out of here and let's get on the road. You ready? ready? Are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Are we matching? Oh my gosh. Did we oh both play a navy today? You know, you had your outfit laid out last night and I was mm. like, I'm gonna match it. Mm. That's terrible. Let's go. Bye. Ready? Ready. Getting directions to Palm Springs. I have my trusty coffee that I made at home myself. I make it for you. That is true, actually. Miss Calista <laughs> made it. I always make it for you. Whatever. Palm Springs is only like honestly like two hours from LA if there's no traffic, which you really never know. But it's like the perfect amount that like feels far away, but it's not like that far. Like we usually put on like a podcast for like an hour and then we listen to music for an hour and then you're there. Easy peasy. It's supposed to be 92 degrees there this weekend. So I'm actually pretty excited to roast in the sun a bit. Yeah. And it's like a dry heat, so it feels so good. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are arriving at our first stop. It is not a stop to Palm Springs without stopping at the Desert Hills Premium Outlets in Cabazon. And these are not your typical outlets. This place has every major designer from Bottega to Loewe, Saint Laurent to Celine to Gucci. They really have every brand. And it's so fun to always stop by on your way. It's like 25 minutes away from Palm Springs. So it's like the perfect time to like go to the bathroom, take a break, and then you just jet to Palm Springs after. But we always have loved coming here every single trip. We always stop by. It's become such a tradition. So let's do some shopping. <laughs> I love coming to this Bottega. They always have such amazing pieces, especially such great accessories. I've picked up so many amazing sunglasses from this one. I really loved this chunky knit and I wanted it to be like a kind of like baby tee sweater, but I think it was just a little bit too small. This coat, I actually have the pants to match. So right away I knew I had to try it on. I feel like it's such a classic fit, but such a unique fabric. Would definitely be getting some wear out of this one. Wow, it looks so good. I loved that coat so much at Bottega, but I'm not sure yet. I want to see what else there is before I jump on a big thing like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, the all white is so nice. I love the all white flow right now. Those are like some of my favorite kinds of shoes. That looks good on you. Oh, but... I feel like it's very you. You want to buy it for me? Mm -hmm. It would be like such a good party jacket. All right, we came, we saw, we conquered, and now we are caffeinating. We got some stuff. I would say that was a success. I know, how fun. Getting directions to El Horizon Resort and Spa. Bye. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.
we finally made it to the horizon in Palm Springs. I swear, I've been staying at this property for at least, I think my first time was almost 10 years ago and I still cannot pronounce it correctly. Every time I talk to somebody at the front desk or something like that, they always pronounce it a different way. And I like sit there and I like look at them and I'm like, what is happening in my life? But I, for some reason, just cannot fully pronounce it. It's somewhere along the lines of Le Horizon, something like that. I think it's Le Horizon. Okay, but they don't say it like that, so yeah. I don't know, but I've been staying here for a long time. And this time we were actually staying in the newer side of their property called the Herman Bungalows. It's my first time staying over here. First time for both of us staying yeah. over here. The entire resort actually dates back long ago. Like Marilyn Monroe used to stay here. All these really famous celebrities in history have stayed here. And what I love so much about the Horizon is that each room is its own building. So like you don't really share walls, anything like that. It's really cool. You kind of have your own little like bungalow casita kind of vibe. That's super special in a hotel. Definitely. Sure. Oh my gosh. I think there's yeah. only 25 rooms. And so if you do like a wedding or an event or something like that, like you have to buy out the whole thing. This side, the Herman Bungalows, like I said, is the newer side. It's more of like this mid-century oasis. So all the rooms kind of connect through strips on the side of a really long lounge pool. It's really beautiful. And it's just this like newer modern build that they built from the ground up where the other one they modified from history. I also love that they kept the new build in like a mid-century way you know totally. so it's like so beautiful still yeah they did a really really good job it's definitely by far our favorite hotel in palm springs with this being one of our last times and kind of a time that we'll end up probably end up saying goodbye to palm springs for quite a while we thought we had to absolutely stay here palm springs is really special to us it was one of our first trips ever together that we took it was a really big part of our escape in covid and it really i think drew us a lot closer emotionally. It was a oasis that we could escape to and kind of like not run away from our problems, but we could kind of forget for a minute about how crazy the world was and kind of just enjoy time being together as a couple. It has just become such a magical place for us. We always have such a great time here. We have some of our favorite restaurants here and some of our favorite like design stores. So it's gonna be hard when we are actually saying goodbye at the end of this vlog. There might be a tear shed, but we'll see. <laughs> oh my God. So let's not waste any time we have to show you how amazing this hotel is so let's roll a hotel tour <music> Hello. I'm really loving this room tours that we've been doing. Welcome to our bungalow. All right, so beginning with this room tour, I do wanna just point out that right outside is our patio and also is something that I think is really special about this property. They give you these little gold metal cards that get placed outside your room while you stay that says your last name and I'm in the bungalow. So like this one is the Williams bungalow and they replace them for every party that comes through and then you get to take it home and I don't know I just have thought that's always such a fun touch for them to engrave something every single time someone stays with their name on it. So moving in to the room we have this beautiful stone wall that I just feel like you don't normally typically see something like that in a hotel room and it just kind of took me by surprise but everything in this room is done so well in this weird mid-century way but also very modern at the same time I mean nothing matches like literally nothing like we have terrazzo floor, we have velvet, we have boucle, we have the stone wall, we have wood, we have stained glass. I mean, it's all here and somehow it just looks so beautiful. I don't, I don't know how they did it, but I'm sure some interior designer did know. Moving on, we have our little sitting area. This is the Herman Jr. Suite pool view. And so that means you get a patio, you get the pool view obviously, but that also means that you get a small sitting area like such that we are in. And something that I'm loving about this one already is it's very spacious it feels very open I was always a little nervous because sometimes they just shove like seating in a corner or against a wall and they're like there's your junior suite sitting area and they are not like that here they are like here you get like a small living room which I think is great it has really helped us with filming this video and it's just always nice to have that extra area that you can sit down and relax and not be like on a bed they gave us a little welcome card and I always think you know I think it's very important to read cards it says welcome rest relax reset 
it and enjoy your stay. They gave us these beautiful box of macaroons. Which I, one are you gonna have first? I don't know, I'm a sucker for a pistachio macaroon. This time they gave us a little welcome gift. Um, this does not happen when you stay at, on the other side, so I am interested in what it is. I saved it to open with you guys, so let's see. It's a candle. Oh, oh and it's, it has the Herman Bungalow logo on it. Let's give her a smell. Oh yeah. Mm. It smell good? Yeah, teak and bamboo. You wanna smell? Sure. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful, maybe we'll burn that while we're here. Yeah, we should. Okay, getting up. Then moving on into our sleeping area. We have our large king bed with these beautiful Hermes touches. Makes me feel right at home. I'm loving the symmetry of this bed. It's really giving mid-century. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but I absolutely love symmetry. I adore it. It's my favorite thing on earth, but we have this huge king bed that is very comfortable actually, so. Something cool is these lilies are built into the wall here. Very mid-century, almost like a breeze block. I love that the mirror in the back, then the vase. Very, very nice touch. We have these, which I, oh, they are the weight. I was like, what did these do? But they're the weight actually to hold the lamp. Whoa. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, very, very I beautiful. Not even notice that. There are no mirrors in this room because they are the reflective glass on the doors, which I think is a cute touch actually. And inside the closet, you have the beautiful little light up area. Put all your clothes. We have clearly not unpacked yet. You have your run of the mill mini bar. I guess this isn't actually run of the mill. This is quite nice. They have potato chips that I'll definitely be getting into. They have the Nespresso machine. And what I use the hotel Nespresso machines for is to have my coffee before coffee, if that makes sense. No, that does not make sense. I have a coffee here every morning, any hotel I'm at. And that is my pre-coffee before I go get my actual coffee of the day. And that's just, that's what I do. It's like your appetizer. Exactly. This is the beautiful frame television that you get. We don't really do TV that much. So honestly, I kind of like that it has the frame and hopefully the resort actually looks like this this evening. On this side, we have another closet, nothing crazy, a bunch of stuff that we just kind of put away so that it looked clean while we did this tour. But I do have a brand new swimsuit from Tom Brown that I am especially excited to debut her here. It's like 93 degrees outside right now. So looking to get naked soon. Let's move on into the bathroom because that is a special, special thing. These are some items that we got on our way here from the outlets that we will go over in a little bit. But moving on into the bathroom, we have this beautiful vanity. I love the mixed stone work here. I think mixed stone work is absolutely stunning. Everything's clashing. I don't know why it works, but it does. I love it. Now over here, similar to when we stayed at Claridge's in London, this bathroom has a toilet that opens when you come in. Oh my God, it's hilarious. It's it's like a nice hello to you when you come in to use the bathroom. Now, my favorite part of the entire room, I think actually, is you have this beautiful walk-in shower, but like who needs a walk-in shower when you have this amazing walk-in outdoor shower? I mean. This is incredible, honestly. Also like not just an outdoor shower, I also have whatever you do over here, I guess, in the outdoor shower. Like, what do you, you can't steam, like it's open air, so. I think that's just like if you wanna take a break, you know? You know, just, it's just me, I need like a five minute break from my outdoor shower. But if you can tell the size of this, I mean, look at me here. I am comfortably sitting down. But the terrazzo floor comes throughout the entire bathroom as well. And going back into the main room, you can see the entire layout of the entire room. You know, I mean, you got it all here. I don't know what else you need. You got macaroons, you got a room, you got an outdoor shower, you got a candle. I mean, hey. You got me. Yeah, I got you. Right outside your view, you have your little patio and the lounging pool. And guys, that is the room door here at the Herman Bungalows. I'm gonna quickly show you guys some things that we got from the outlet. I would say that it was a successful trip. Let's start with what I got from Ferragamo. With this box, you can obviously kind of tell it's probably sunglasses, which you would be correct. Honestly, I don't need any more sunglasses, but for some reason I saw these and I thought they were unique enough and they were such a good price. I was like, I gotta grab them. Now, I know that I'm in all blue as well and that definitely helps, but I mean, I don't know. I put these on and I thought these were such a moment. I love these 
shape of them. I think the color is like such a pop of blue. Do you like them? Um, I don't really have a place for you to sit. You can sit on the floor. <laughs> You yeah, like them? Gorgeous, yeah. Aren't they so cool? I don't know. I just love that like they have like an extra frame around the lenses that really pops this blue. Oh, they're so pretty. Try them on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They actually look better on you than me. Oh, really? I like don't normally go for like bright colored glasses. I mean, they look so good on you. They look better on you than they look on me. Wow. I mean, okay, give them back. <laughs> I think they'll be perfect for like whatever outfit they end up going with. An all white look, that could be cute. Ooh, yeah. That sounds like vacation. Do we need another vacation? That was item one. I love that you snuck away from me when I was getting you coffee and you got that. Okay, now we did a little bit of damage at Loewe. We got a pair of shoes and I saw these shoes in the store a while ago and uh, I was like, I wanna try them on, but I was in a rush and I didn't. And I don't know, I saw them there and I was like, oh yeah. They had one left in my side. I knew it was meant to be. We got the lace up cut out sneaker. I'm sure there's a name for them, which I'll figure it out. But what I love so much about this sneaker is it's not just a cutout. It's like the curvature of the Loewe anagram, if you really look at it. But I have seen these quite a few times and each time I wanted to try them on. And I'm so happy that I made myself try them on this time because I love them so much. I think they make like the perfect like summer vacation shoe. I feel like they go really well with like white. I mean, they'll go really well with any kind of new neutral with the colors. Yeah. I think it's fun that it's kind of like a print because I usually wear a lot of solid shoes. Yeah, I don't think you really have anything like this. Yeah. yeah, and I'm really like not that much a fan of sandals. And I think this is like the perfect hybrid because I don't really love how sandals like flip flop around on your feet, but these will stay, you know, secure on your foot, but they will also give you essence of a sandal. I feel like a pretty solid purchase. Yeah, definitely. Let's do the piece of clothing that we got. And this was more Nick's doing. He really talked me into it. Or well, I guess you found it. And then I was like, oh wait, I want that. It's a really long garment bag. Yeah. This is our black nylon Loewe, like all weather jacket, I guess you would call it. It has a little Loewe pocket, like they love to do on so many of their garments. And we've been looking for a black nylon jacket for quite some time now. We, need, we really needed something that like we could wear like every day. And I feel like this was just like screaming that when I saw it. Yeah. Know? It was a no brainer. You wanna put it on? Yeah, that's good. Here, put it on me. Okay. Dress me. My diva. Wow, Princess of Genovia. Also, check out the hood. In case it starts raining on our little princess. But yeah, I feel like we did pretty solid. Yeah, I feel like we got pieces we'll wear like all the time. Yeah. So that's super exciting. Okay, I'm getting hot. All right, let's move on. Where's my hat? Let's move on. Now that we're all showered up, we are going in with the ordinary niacinamide. I still don't know how to say this, but I was telling you in the last vlog, I absolutely love it. I swear by this stuff. Then also by the ordinary, we're going in with the Naturals HA, which is hyaluronic acid moisturizer. It's a great easy, like everyday moisturizer. Super light. I love to travel with it because it comes in this small little bottle. <laughs> Lastly, going in with my favorite fragrance, which we talked about in the last video, the Tom Brown Smoke and Vetti Bear. Such a beautiful fragrance. Wow, we are matching tonight. No, it's cute. It is cute. What are you wearing? Tonight, I am wearing these brown-ish mustardy trousers from The Row. And then I'm wearing this white, like almost like structured cotton shirt from Loewe. Oh. I think the simplicity of just like the brown and the white are nice. And I love that we are almost like opposites. I'm wearing white Dries Van Oten trousers. And then I got this like vintage, beautiful knitted top. Love it. That I think works with the night's vibe, you know. For shoes, I am sporting the little Dries Van Noten slip shoes that were in my haul video. Slip them on. Okay, yeah, that's, they're very chic. And then I have two bags to decide from. Ooh. I can either go contrasted with like the black product or I can go kind of more blended in, I guess, with the white Margiela camera bag. I have a favorite. You do? Yeah. I think you should go with the white one, but... I really don't know. I kind of like the contrast on it. I just love like a monochromatic moment, you know? I love you, Nicholas, but I think I'm gonna go with the black. I think the contrast of the black kind of helps blend the two together better. I don't know. It's, it's giving fine art. To finish it off, 
off, we're going to wear my little clear Tom Brown glasses. I love them so dearly much. And with the help of Nicholas, we're going to do one last spritz of the Smoke in Vetiver Ver from also Tom Brown, maybe two. And these are our dinner looks for this evening. Look at we're matching. Bam. Bam. Let's go enjoy sunset and then we'll head to dinner. Hey, I don't want to crinkle your outfit. Yeah, don't do that. Mm, you smell good. Hi guys, good morning. I love this couch, I'm very into it. I love that I can fit my whole body on it. I also love that this room is powered by this iPad. It is a new day today. We have so many fun things on the agenda. Dinner last night at Mr. Lyons was so good. I honestly forgot how good it was. I haven't been there with just Nicholas in a while and so having that moment there with him was just so nice. We had this beautiful round booth, just the two of us. He got these steak frites, he always gets steak frites. If it's on the menu, I swear he always orders it which is good for me because then I can have some of his french fries. I got a prime rib. I always get the prime rib there. We had a wedge salad. We had some egg caviar dip. It was just such, honestly, a nice dinner. It's such a solid place here in Palm Springs. If you're ever here, you have to try and go. They have amazing food, amazing vibe. They also have this almost like speakeasy-esque called Seymour's that we went to after dinner. It's just like right off the entrance through a doorway. And they play like all these random movies in black and white to make it feel like it's this old Hollywood vibe. So we sat there and had a nice little drink while they played Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is actually one of my favorite films. The storyline is just so crazy. Every single time I watch it, I am fully shocked and fully just like gasping in my seat. Today on the agenda, we are going to take you guys to some of our favorite shops in the area. If you watched our home tour, I told you that we got our coffee table from a place called Market Market and that's on our list today. I'm very excited to take you guys there. It is such a cool place. I think we're gonna start the day with a little bike ride. We're gonna go get some coffee at one of our favorite places called Coffee and just bike around, see some shops and kind of just see where the day goes. Since it is so sunny and warm here, I mean, we are already at 78 degrees for the day and it is morning. I think we're supposed to get up to like 87. So I'm just gonna wear shorts and a vintage tee today. No cute outfit really. I mean, it's still cute, but, but nothing crazy. We'll save that for dinner. I am sporting my Celine sunglasses today. I think they are so timeless. They're so classic. I love them so much. Other than that, I think we are ready to go. So let's hit it. Your coffee? Or you got tea this time? I got tea. Mm. Every time we come here and we lay in the grass and have tea or coffee and just kind of enjoy the sunshine, we always start our first day coming here, I feel like, and then we always end our last day coming here as well. Yeah. All right, so we are headed to our first shop of the day and it is called Christopher Anthony. It's a design interior, just, Vintage. I don't even know how to describe it, but just like a beautiful shop filled with beautiful things. Let's check out what they have. This is amazing. The pencil? Where would you put that? I would actually lean it on, on a wall. Like a corner of the wall just yeah. In the middle. There were such amazing things in that shop, like the large pencil. 
That was amazing. I want that. It was so random. I just like was not expecting to see that. Now we're walking down the street. They recently opened a Webster boutique here in Palm Springs, which if you don't know what the Webster is, it's like a high-end boutique. They have one in Miami, in New York, in LA, um, but the one here is really gorgeous. So let's go see what they have. <laughs> Such a cool store. The design of it is so beautiful. The clouds on the ceiling, like what? And all the pink, so reminiscent of Miami's like original store. Mm -hmm. I love it. Gotta squash some moments. Tee hee. Tee hee. Laughing at you. Not me. In your weird little face. What? You gonna take a picture of the purple cactus? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know why it's purple? So I was reading online that the plant gets like stressed out from like lack of water and heat, so it turns purple. Yeah, it's called sunburn. Yeah, like my face. Oh yeah. yeah. a little pit stop. Are we grabbing some lunch? I think I might get a petite wedge. Mmm, with chicken. So now we're here at the Ingleside Inn getting lunch by their pool. They have a restaurant here called Melvin's. It's not open during the day, but they do have a lunch menu that you can eat by the pool, which I kind of think is better during the day. Bon appetit. <laughs> Alright, so this is Market Market in Palm Springs. One of my absolute favorite stores in all of Palm Springs. Anything from vintage furniture to vintage clothing to design to fine art, they have. They also have a slam in playlist, so make sure you're shazamming if you come here. But it's this huge warehouse space filled with just so many different vendors. They were all hand picked. We're gonna start in clothing, see what we can find, but honestly, there's so much to see. You could spend an entire day. I'm searching for vintage. I'm looking for honestly something that like just speaks to me right away. Like I can go through these like so quick like this and just kind of like tell really quickly like if it's something I should like be giving a moment to like this Caesars Palace boxing match thing. It just like stops me in my tracks I feel like and then I know like oh there's something there I should look at it. I should try it on. I should something. I always try everything on. My Last time that we were in here, they had a vintage BMW in here. It like was for sale and everything as a piece, but it was just sat right here in the middle. Like it was such an amazing, just like random thing to have in a store like this, but just like so cool. As you can see, like there's so much stuff to go through and so many different vendors. Whoever's doing the curation, I mean, it's just such perfection. Did you find something? I don't know why, but I think these are so cool. Should I slip it on? Yeah. Okay. Do you think I need these? I've never seen anything like these, especially in an Adidas. These are kind of cute. Maybe. Okay, let's try them on. Why not? I don't know if they're like too small or not. Part of it is like cute vintage, and then part of it is like this are very small. What do you think? They're pretty adorable. Guys, do I get these shorts or not? I can't decide. I can't tell if they are like too small and tight or if they're like give that like old vintage vibe. Am I gonna regret not getting these? All right, we're gonna get these too. And now we gotta get out of here before I spend too much money. So these are pickle popsicles and we had them the first time we ever came to Market Market. Basically, it's literally just like pickled juice frozen and I swear there's like electrolytes in them, but I swear they are the weirdest thing, but so amazing and so good. Ready? Yep. Just two pickles in a pot. Oh my god. 
no sugar. Oh my gosh, you can smell it. And I just dropped a huge drop on my brand new white shoes. Oh, I can't believe I just dropped it oh on my, my shoe. It's called pickle ice. But if you like pickles, they're honestly really good. We look forward to them, honestly, every single time that we come here. And it's perfect for a hot day. And this might be our last pi pickle ice. All right, I would say it was a successful day at Market Market. Ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, guys, it has been a long day. I am pooped. We probably rode, like, I kid you not, maybe 10 miles. I wish I would have worn my Apple Watch that I could have, like, actually told you how many miles we went, but at least it felt like 10 miles. Needing a mid-afternoon coffee. I usually try to cut off caffeine after 12 p.m., but that's not happening today. We had such a fun day. I love showing you guys some of all of our favorite shops. Starting at Christopher Anthony, I love that shop so unbelievably much. There's so much inspiration to be seen there. The large pencil, I still can't get over. Moving on to the Webster, I mean, it's just such a beautiful store. I love that they just randomly decided to open one in Palm Springs of all places. Such a beautiful touch of fashion for the city. Then we went to Phylum, which is such like a fun home interior stationary style store. I got this amazing wine cork there. This is the George Jensen wine cork. I actually have his ice bucket. He makes really amazing silver interior items, but I've been looking for a bar key for a while, and I just think this one is absolutely stunning. I'm such a sucker for a silver item lately, but that is that. Then we stopped by Time and Space. I've picked up so many items from them over the years. It's such a fun store. It's so minimally laid out, but they have such beautiful items. So I always stop by and see what they're up to. And finally, after we got that amazing salad at Melvin's, I love the Ingleside Estate. If I don't stay here, I'm normally staying there. It's such a chill hotel, but their restaurant Melvin's is just one of my favorites. And since we aren't going to it for dinner this time, I'm actually really happy that we were able to stop by for lunch. And then we ended the day at my all-time favorite, Market Market. I've talked about it so many times about how much I love that store, and I'm so happy I finally got to take you guys. We got to find some stuff, which is always fun. I got to show you my pickle popsicles. I got these amazing bright red shorts for summer. I was questioning whether they were a little small, so if you did think that they were a little small for me, please just maybe don't tell me, because I already bought them, and I don't want to have to feel like I shouldn't wear them. And I got the slip-on Adidas and I am really happy. I think I paid way too much for these, honestly, but I think they're unique enough and I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them. Now we are kind of kicking it until our dinner time. You gonna come say hi? Hey. hey. Oh, oh, hold the, oh, hold the baby. baby, hold the baby. Hi. Where are we going to dinner tonight? We're going to a workshop in downtown Palm Springs. Yeah. The workshop is one of our actual favorites. It's such a cool place. I can't wait to show you guys the like design of the restaurant. It's so bizarre. We spent New Year's there twice, twice. now. Yeah, it's also like very chic and modern. Yeah, it's a really yeah. cool restaurant and it's been kind of a staple here in Palm Springs. So that's on the itinerary for dinner this evening. As of now, we're just gonna kind of kick it. Then we're probably gonna get dressed. We'll show you our outfits again. Mm -hmm. And then we'll probably head into town a little early, grab a drink somewhere and head out to dinner. I need a nap. I know, I'm tired. Well, oh. All right, so we'll see you guys in a bit. Tonight, I am sporting these amazing Dries Van Noot in printed pants. And if you think these pants are amazing, just one second. They are not alone. We have the full set in effect tonight. I'm actually going to go in again with these Dries Van Noot in slips. For the bag tonight, we're going back in with the black Prada bag. I think it just kind of complements the black in the outfit. For glasses, we have two options between these yellow Ponte glasses. I love Ponte eyewear so much. They're absolutely beautiful made or the clear Tom Brown again and I think I might just keep the clear Tom Brown train going guys oh she's ready wow look at what you put together today I know I'm wearing a Bottega Veneta top and then Dries Van Noten bottoms and then I have this like beautiful croissant Le Mer bag I love it I love that we're both wearing Dries pants I love this shirt I love the crop fit on it I know it's very like summer Palm Springs are you awesome. ready for tonight love this bag oh yeah I'm so ready I know. Actually, you bought me this bag. I did. And these are our outfits for dinner tonight. Let's do it. One of my favorite outfits on you, honestly. Ooh.
Wait, point five is cute. Good morning. Good morning. Are you gonna hold me? Hello. Mm. <laughs> Last night was so fun and very delicious. Workshop is by far, I think, the best like culinary kind of restaurant in Palm Springs. I also think it's like probably the prettiest inside. Yeah, in the Palm design Springs. is incredible. I love how the booths go all the way up to the ceiling. We had such an amazing meal. We started with a little drink before dinner at a bar right around the corner called Truss and Twine. Where what did we get? We got like something cucumber based. I always get a cucumber. It was drink. like this sounds really weird, but it was like an onion cucumber infused cocktail. It was oh yeah. Incredible. Incredible. There was an onion in there. It was good. Yeah. And then we got a little espresso martinis. I think their espresso martinis are probably my favorite. And then at workshop, we had this amazing cabbage, wasn't it? It was like yeah. a cabbage that was fried, but I don't even know how to describe it. It was incredible. We had this really thinly sliced octopus that was like a carpaccio. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was so good. It was kind of hard to get it off the plate, but it was so good once yeah, we did it. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. And then we got a duck and a pork chop, and it was honestly so delicious. But it was such a lovely dinner. I can't believe that'll be one of the last times you go to workshop. We've gone there every single time we've ever came to Palm Springs. It was kind of yeah. like weird feeling at the end. I know. I felt like slightly emotional, but it, it was a great time. I loved it. Got something on your nose. Today, we're going to go look at some mid-century houses. We were going to drive, but I think we're going to actually take the bikes out again. Yeah. I love going and looking at the mid-century houses in Palm Springs. I didn't do it for the longest time, and then I brought a friend from Europe here, and I showed her around, and she was like, I can't believe that you guys have design like this. And so now I make sure to go look at it and appreciate it every single time that we're here. I mean, there's no other place in the world that has architecture like this. You ready to go? I'm ready. Let's do it. Take me to object culture. Getting directions to object culture. All right, so we are about 10 minutes outside of Palm Springs. We hopped in the car. This one, sadly, you can't bike to, but it's a very short drive. But some time ago, somebody opened a design shop over here, and then very quickly, all of the doors of this building turned into other design shops, and it has created this amazing little strip of shops just filled with incredible design, incredible furniture, incredible item, and I always make sure I make it a point to come here every time I'm in Palm Springs. So let's go check out these shops. I have seen this lamp every single time I visited and I have to hold myself back from buying it every single time. If there was two, I would buy it. I love it so much. I love the spiral. Yeah, the red is so nice in that. So that was Object Culture. That was the first one that we ever found here. And now we've just obviously gone down the line over the years and have fallen in love with all of the shops and watched them open. Some of them closed sadly during COVID, um, but they're all unique in their own little way and they all have their own little curation. And I think it's super special. So let's check out this one. I always get so nervous that I'm gonna bump something and just knock it all over. Even if I'm not looking for anything, I love coming into stores like this because you just never know what you're going to find and you really can just find so many things of inspiration, whether it's something you're looking for or something that will surprise you that you didn't even know you needed or wanted. It's a great way to find things that you don't know you like. Amazing. And now we're gonna go into the Gilded Owl and see what they have. This is amazing. 
called the bridge chair, zinc coated metal mesh and plaster. So this is what that white one over there, um, this is what it looks like underneath it. Really cool. That was unbelievably inspiring. That was probably one of the more inspiring ones I've been in. The mesh chairs really were something incredible. It's so amazing that all of these shops are over here. It's the most random area if you pan around. I just love that they're all just like in this little nook and if you know, you know, and if you don't, I guess you just don't. This one is actually one of my personal favorites. Look at this bowl. Like, what do you do with a bowl that size? Except for you, pasta. I swear I'm attracted to anything like aluminum or silver these days. Look at this. This is insane. I mean, that's, this is insane. I've never seen anything like this. It's the Hugging Seat by Jordan Moser. Oh, it was made for a restaurant. Wow, we need to take a picture of that. <laughs> So cool. I mean, working in this scale is like insane. Well, that was our daily dose of inspiration for today. I absolutely love coming to these shops. I think they are such hidden gems out here in Palm Springs and so many people don't know about them but they have such incredible things. Even just going through to show you guys today, we saw so many things that inspired even us. I mean, those like metal, like iridescent chairs, insane. I also love that giant charcoal drawing. If I could afford it, I would get it. <laughs> yeah, if anyone has a lovely $23,000 lying around, let yeah. me know. <laughs> I will link a bunch of these places down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. And if you're ever in Palm Springs, I highly recommend coming to some of these. Hey. Hi. Are you excited for dinner tonight? I am very excited for dinner tonight. What are you wearing tonight? Well, we came outside for our outfit check this evening. Tonight I'm in all white with this beautiful green striped Prada shirt. And tonight we are wearing the Margiela camera bag. And then again, I'm wearing my Tom Brown sunnies. I can't get enough of them. You've worn them every day. I know. I didn't think I was going to, but here we are. Should I show what you're wearing? Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm actually the opposite. I'm in all black tonight. And I'm also wearing a Prada shirt. Actually, Everett bought me this shirt. Ooh. So look at the detailing in the back. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's just another flower. Oh, you have a Prada. Though. I know. I actually never noticed that. I know. My mom pointed it out, and I was like, wait, I never saw this before. Thank okay. you. Okay. Are we ready for dinner? Let's do it. Prada boys. I can't believe today is our last day here in Palm Springs. This trip has been so amazing. I can't believe that once we move, we won't be able to just like jump in our car and come here whenever we want. So this might be like one of the last times we come here for who knows how long. That is hard for me to swallow and that is a bit emotional. Especially because we've been here so many times together. I know, um, we've really had so many sectors of life. We would come here during COVID and we would escape and it was like our little oasis that you and I had and we found spots together that we loved. We experienced restaurants and all that together that we loved. I remember like making our little Google map together 
together as we just found new places and I just know there was so much special life here. We've come here with family, friends, each other. We've done Palm Springs in so many different ways and yeah. it's just kind of emotional, <laughs> but it's okay. This trip has been so amazing though. Like what a good way to go out with a bang and what a good way to kind of say goodbye to a place that we love so much. I know, I feel like we hit all of our favorite spots. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite spot? Ooh, I don't know. I like love everything so much that I don't think I can pick actual yeah. spot. So I think I just loved the whole trip. Yeah, true. I know, I think every single day was special, unique, and really a testament to what we love about this place. So. Mm -hmm. Also this hotel, like we fell in love with it instantly. Every single time has been so amazing. And I love that we've never stayed here with other people. It's always just been you and I. It's like our own little place. I'm just so happy we found it. Yeah. You're inspiring. Ah! <laughs> Last night before dinner, we popped one of our favorite bottles of champagne as like a celebration to one of our last times being here. And then we had a beautiful, lovely dinner at Sopa, which is the restaurant here at the Horizon Hotel. Always so good. Yeah, we've Go really eaten good on this trip. I loved our bike rides. Oh my God, yeah. I love a bike ride. I feel like everywhere we go, we try to... Mm -hmm. bike ride. I didn't think we were gonna bike every day and we biked every single day, which is beautiful. <laughs> no. So today for our last day, I think we're just gonna kind of kick it. We're gonna grab some lunch, maybe go on one last bike ride. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll just kind of soak up our last moments here in Palm Springs. And oh, saying goodbye for the last time when we get in the car is gonna be so hard. Are you gonna cry? You know, I, I don't know, because it hits me like randomly. Random, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I have no control over it. You're a random yeah. crier for sure. Yeah. So thank you guys for coming along with us on this trip to Palm Springs. Like we said, this was such a special one and I'm happy that we were able to share it with you guys as well. If you guys ever come to Palm Springs, make sure you check out some of these places. I would love to hear any ones that you go to. I really love creating Google Maps for each city. I love sending them and sharing with all my friends. So I want to start sharing them with you guys as well. So linked in the description box, below is my Google map for Palm Springs. So if you're ever here, you can always come to this video and grab the Google map and just check out some of our favorite places. That's so nice of you. It is quite nice of me. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed your trip. I had a great time. If you have any other recommendations of Palm Springs, please let me know. I hope you guys loved this hotel. Such a special place. I love it so much. Yes. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.